Hello everyone, my name is Lukas and in today's video I will show you how you can create your free form roof frame. As you can see, right now I have my roof, my walls and my facade all adapted to the shape of the roof. When we look around, you can see that the roof is not flat, roof is not pitched, or butterfly roof or anything, because actually the roof is in organic shape. But when we go to the function called roof frame, we cannot find a tool called organic roof or anything. The way how we can make it is using a reference surface to show you how to form such a roof. First, we need to go to a different drawing file where I have prepared a few things. As you can see, I have a couple of walls and 3D lines. From these 3D lines, I will first form my roof using extrude along the path tool by clicking on one line as a reference and second line as the path. As you can see, by clicking on these two lines, I have formed my roof. Next thing what we do is we right click on the roof and we can change 3D surface to reference surface. By clicking on this, we can see that on the left hand side of the old plan, it is asking us for a name. So we can call it roof organic. We can enter and in our animation viewport, the roof has disappeared, but in any other windows, we can see it as a reference surface. The other way how to make your reference surface is by using new plane function. When you go to planes, you need to unlock planes so you can edit them. And then you click insert or replace reference surface. When you click on this, Outplan asks you to select reference surface. Then you just simply click on the general 3D surface you created. And as you can see, it is defined as a roof and you can see it in your planes as well. So what you need to do is just state a name for it. Let's say roof organic again. And here is if you want connected with something or from the bottom or from the top with elements. I prefer using bottom of it. Then you simply click apply and escape. Automatically the modification is locked. You can get back to other steps. As you can see right now we have this surface both as a 3D surface and I can delete it. Open planes again and as you can see, the reference surface is here. So there are two ways how to make it. After you have this, all you need to do is step into your wall. And in your heights, you need to define the top level. And on the top level, you can say roof organic. Click OK. And you, if you have multi-layer wall, you need to do the same thing for both. Click OK. And as you can see, the wall is copying the shape of the roof. Let me just quickly edit the rest. You can also, instead of picking the height for every single wall, you can just simply pick pipette and pick it. And as you can see, it is automatically transferred to your walls without further editing or defining anything else. But make sure you have the same thickness of the walls or same layers because then it will change depends on what you are selecting. Now as you can see our walls are ready. Next thing we want to have is our floor slab or let's say roof slab. So we just simply pick a floor slab function, pick the points which we want to use as a reference points 
Right now, as you can see, my floor slab is flat. But what I need to do is go to height again. And here, I need to again define roof organic. And I click OK. My floor slab automatically changed its shape. Again, considering my roof. And the last thing what we can do is add the roof covering. And right now, let's say we want to have a bit overhangs. Again, the roof is flat. You need to step in. Here you can define more layers if you like. I prefer to keep it one. And again, organic. Click OK. And as you can see, our roof is modeled no matter what shape I pick without any further struggling. I can simply create any freeform roof I would like and continue modeling without any boundaries. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!